Golfing World recently travelled to the southwestern tip of Sweden for the second edition of the Henrik Stenson Handicamp. The 2016 Open champion is an ambassador for disabled golf in his home country and has done an incredible job, along with the Swedish Golf Association, in raising the profile of a sport which plays an important role in the lives of people with physical and neurological handicaps. So the handicap uh, started uh, really uh, after my Open win. I've been an ambassador and, and uh, practiced with them before and with the support from the RNA, they were willing to, uh, to help us out a little bit and uh, yeah, started a training camp at the same time as we have uh, the junior tournament here in, in Sweden and uh, they assembled their, the national team, they come down, they, uh, they play, they practice for a number of days and uh, I join in and have a bit of fun with them, try and give them a few few helping tips on the way and uh, yeah it's it's a lot of fun they uh, they play and practice with uh, with such joy and um, I think that's uh, you know something you, you can forget at times we play this game because we love it and uh, when it's also a profession and, and you work sometimes you, you get into that grind and uh, I really feel like they, they help me uh, bring back those those memories of, of why you play the game and, and how much fun it is <laughs> <laughs> Stenson's involvement with the Swedish Handy Golf Association has helped highlight the impressive standard of golf being played by a wide range of disabled golfers in the country. There are two national teams, one national team category one and one national team category two. Category one, that is a physical impairment for people with uh, amputees and uh, brain damages or things that is uh, influencing your golf swing in the physical level. And now we have category two, that is what we call neurodevelopmental disorder, and that is an umbrella concept for intellectual disability and neuropsychiatric disorders, like ADHD, autism spectrum disorder, and so on. Handling golf in Sweden is kind of organized fairly well uh, already. My, me, myself, I lost my leg to uh, cancer about four years ago. And the fact that there was already a good like organization in place, uh, tournaments and there's a tour here in Sweden, made it a lot easier. And it, for me especially, uh, in my recovery, it was very important to have something to look forward to because I was a golfer uh, even before my uh, my disease, so uh, it's been very valuable to me. And Henrik's been along for a while, and that absolutely has helped a lot for 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 the Swedish Golf Federation and the, their uh, work and uh, improving the game for for all people. Well, it started really when I uh, I got an award and, and there was a small scholarship, and uh, I, I was I was asked to to give this uh, the money for that scholarship to. Uh, to some club or organization and, and uh, yeah, that they were the first ones that came to my mind. Uh, I'd, I'd met them b before, a few other players and and uh, yeah, so this is close to 10 years ago, I think, and, and uh, I supported with that with that small contribution and uh, then I had another couple of good years as, uh, as the best uh, Swedish golfer uh, and, and got the award again and, and kept on giving the, the scholarship to, uh, to the uh, handy golfers and uh, Really happy to spend some time with them and, and support them. <laughs> For many of the handy golfers involved, the sport has given them a comfortable environment to play and compete in. Yeah, I was a golfer then, and it didn't go so well at the golf course, so I had a little bit of problems, but after I heard on the handy golf, and I just play my golf then. It's helping me too in school and everything. It's uh, very important to have Henrik Stenson on the handy golf and he's so much amazing to have him. He brings more positivity and happiness around every people here and I see the sport is gonna grow really much and it's gonna be amazing when it's going. Each of the disabled golfers had an individual lesson from Stenson during the handicap, with special attention paid to their short game. It was uh, very helpful, actually. Yeah, of course, get uh, a lot of golfing experience, so uh, you can just 
looking loud. He uh, wanted me to uh, not rotate my shoulder that much, so I got a higher shot from the bunker, and uh, it's actually what I have been searching for. So, <laughs> so a great tip. Myself, I've been playing golf for a long while, but there's, you know, it's like in life, you know, there's always stuff to learn and be able to learn from one of the best in the world. Uh, and to have his just presence and, and uh, just personal encouragement means as much as just, uh, you know, the instruction you get, you know. For us, it's more uh, just a great community and, and to have him be a part of it is just extremely special. Uh, really appreciate it. The support has, has really been from, from the Henrik Stenson Foundation and the, and the RNA uh, contribution. Uh, those two together have, have made that possible and uh, I'm, I'm myself and, and, and all the handy golfers obviously very grateful to the RNA for, for their support and, and making this possible. So um, yeah, it's, uh, it's providing a great opportunity and, uh, and something we, we are very grateful for. If you look at it in the big picture, I see there's more people coming into the game, and which is extremely good. Uh, there's good, great players uh, playing already, and just if we get more players into the game, everybody keeps improving. Uh, you know, the, the, the sport is, is going to grow uh, a whole lot. We're not quite there yet, but uh, everybody who's playing, we, we're, we're enjoying it a lot. And just, it's just blessed to have this opportunity.